Good day. It's the 22nd of April, 2020. My name is Mark Pesci, and welcome to the next 100 seconds. Overnight, the FDA authorized the first male home test kit for COVID-19 from a company called LabCorp. Very pretty box. But you're wondering now, can they really scale that up? The number of tests they need to perform in America just to stay on top of the infection is probably in the tens of millions a day, perhaps hundreds of millions in a given month. Is LabCorp ready to do that? Is any testing facility in the United States ready to do that? Australia fancies itself as being among the leaders in tests, but if you look at the global rank tables, we're not even in the top 20. Yet still, with that level of testing, we've managed to control the rate of infection down to around 20 new infections across the entire country of 25 million people every single day. So what we've done with testing, for as limited as it is, has worked. In other countries, such as Japan, such as in America, such as in the United Kingdom, if they don't get in front of the testing, the infection will continue to run away with them. It will continue to kill them. So we now need to think about what it means to scale up testing in terms of millions of tests per day. Not per week, not per month, but per day. What is it going to take to get that into the post box, then back to a lab and get those results analyzed and get those results out to people so that they can know and they can protect themselves and they can protect others. If we do that, we'll get ahead of this. Until we do, we won't. And that's 100 seconds.